everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video, and I'm gonna raise my chair up because I'm clearly way too low. All right, now that's way better. Today, guys, we got this epic mail haul coming in, and I can't remember who it was, but they did write us a letter. I'm excited to read it. I have cut it open. I don't know exactly what's inside. I did see a letter, though. Um, I went ahead and cut it open because I had an eBay package that I unboxed, and then I threw it in the envelope. You guys will see that as well. They did not send one of the figures that I will pull out of there. Also, I have my tech deck right here for some stupid reason. You know, I just like to, if I'm just chilling, if I'm just sitting around, and, you know, I'm trying to think of ideas, or, or I'm just you know, contemplating things. I'll just pull up the tech deck, you know, skate around a little bit, do a little whipsy wopsy, and uh, I don't know. This is just uh, over here. Maybe I'll maybe I'll pop a trick or so in the video. Who knows? But anyways, let's go ahead and open this thing up, guys. The first figure that we have is this Elite 41 Benjamin Balor, and the reason that I got this, let's go ahead and adjust the lighting. Why is the lighting so crappy, man? What the hell is going on here? The lights are all weird. Go ahead and fix them up here. All right, that's much better. And you guys know that I hate this uh, this torso, right? I absolutely hate this torso, but the reason I got this is I did not have an extra Finn Balor demon head scan, and the reason I want the extra Finn Balor demon head scan is because I'm working on a custom, and I don't like the, the top talents when it's painted up all the way. I don't think it looks as good as this first demon Balor. It kind of looks like he's sort of pissed off in this head scan, so I wanted to have this look for the custom that I'm working on. You guys will not see the custom um, that I'm working on for a little bit, because you know i got to complete it and stuff. The seller said that the wrists are glued, and they are are glued. You can see when I turn the hand, the whole arm turns. This one's turned as well. There's also some damage on the back. But playing around with this figure, guys, it's not like, you know how usually when figures have the little ratchet joints right here, instead of the ball joints, they, they're not articulated very well. They're very tight and stuff. This figure is phenomenal as far as posing ability goes, but I just hate that if they would have given this the ripped up torso, guys, this figure would be just outstanding, immaculate, just epic sauce, garlic, nasty farts. But I mean, it's still a good figure. It just, it could be so much better had they had they given him the ripped torso. But this was the first Demon Elite Balor, so I guess I can cut him a little slack. But this is the first figure we got. Gonna be going into some fodder. You know, I, I literally got it for like eight bucks. Uh, excuse me. On eBay, and I thought it was a great deal, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Needed the head scan. Needed the, the parts here. Maybe I can use the kick pads, the knee bat, the knee pads, or whatever because, um, uh, yeah, yeah. So there's there's Finn Balor. So this this, uh, this bag right here, or this mail, whatever you want to call it, does just come to us from a fan here. I'm going to read the letter aloud to the class here. It says, Dear Trey, glad we can finally work out a deal. Been wanting a trade ski with you for the longest time. I just had things you were never interested in, but not only are you getting what you wanted from this deal, but I'm throwing in what you wanted last time but wasn't enough for a trade ski and some fodder you might be able to use in the future. Thank you so much, bro. That's so awesome. I cannot wait to crack open what we got here. He says, Been a fan of you for a while and your MDT Pick Fed series is what made me want to start my own show and it's going very well. I'm in the works of a big project and after I release said project that will be doing bi-weekly shows a bi-weekly show centered around two round robin tournaments and I've started hiring staff to help me with the project like editors commentators and interviewers all of that wouldn't be possible if I didn't see what you did to evolve the modern pick fed and I thank you for all you've done for me and the rest of your 114,000 as of writing this anyone who wants to see my pick fed it's on my Riley Wolf YouTube channel he puts the link there I'm not going to read off the link but I will leave it in the description below can't change my URL until I get to 100 subs only at 29 as of writing this letter thanks a bunch for the deal can't wait to see what you have planned for the for your channel in the near future. Sincerely, Riley Wolf. I'll tell you this, or he, he leaves his Instagram. It's the the Ressa belt in my hand on Instagram. And I'll tell you what, guys, if you get him to 100 subs after seeing this, if you guys go to the description below, follow this guy, subscribe to his channel. We get this man to 100 subs, and I don't know, we'll do something special here on the channel. So definitely go subscribe to Riley. Thank you so much for the crying letter, man. Cannot wait to crack this open. Can't wait to watch your shows. I will definitely watch your shows if you just send me the link or whatever. But let's go ahead and Crack this open. What do we got in here? Oh, Snapsies. We have an Undertaker figure, and the reason, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I did want this uh, this Undertaker, but I didn't want a, an Elite. I don't, oh, oh, Snappy threw in a WrestleMania Elite Undertaker. I did not expect that. I did want this cloth robe, though. The reason I wanted this cloth robe, I actually want a few of them. I'm working on an idea a project here, and I do need a lot of these, uh, this, these hooded robe things. So if you guys have any of these hooded robes that came with the Network Spotlight Undertaker 
figure. I really do need it. Like, I, I seriously need it in my life right now. And we're going to take this off of here because he did throw on a Jax head scan. And it doesn't look that bad. I mean, the likeness to Undertaker is not that, not that close. You know, it doesn't look that much like Undertaker. But the head swap works here. I think it's the right size and everything. So there is Undertaker. This is a WrestleMania 29, I think, Undertaker. I can't remember the series. Let's be real. But there is that. And again, if you have this network spotlight Undertaker robe, I really need it. I really need it. And I'll do whatever we need to do to work that out. I need like four or five of them. But there is the first figure, guys. Let's dig in here and see what else we got. Oh, snap, guys. We have a legend figure right here. And you guys will see, we have the man himself, Nikolai Volkov. I've actually owned this figure beforehand, and I ended up trading it. And thank you so much for getting this back in my collection here. I love this figure. I think the body mold is very unique. You know, maybe we can make a custom Walter or something out of this. I don't know, man. The, I mean, the possibilities are endless. You can do a lot of cool things with, you know, some bigger guys. I really like this body mold. They don't give it to us enough. I feel like they really need to give it to us uh, more often with different guys. But thank you so much, bro. I cannot wait to uh, get some work out of of this but putting back Nikolai Volkov back in the collection next up what do we got here oh my goodness an elite 29 CM Punk coming back to the collection another figure that I traded away long ago and he threw in the is it the all-stars uh, Jake the snake Roberts bag I wanted this for uh, some thumbtacks bag um, because it works way better than the one I use. So I am very happy to have this. Thank you so much, bro. The God, that's a very high quality bag. Never owned that before. So we have that, and not only that, we have the Elite 29 CM Punk. What a beautiful looking figure as well. Got the short haircut on there. I think this is one of his last Elites that he had before he left the company. I really like this attire. I think it's very underrated. You got the black, the yellow, and the blue. Very good contrast. Looking like Vindication, but he did not get away, he did not get traded away to Vindication, did he? No, he stuck on to MD live defeated AJ Styles and he is part of the pink brand but I'm happy to have this back in my collection man thank you so much for the CM Punk man that's that's awesome he's hooked us up with some great figures guys and doesn't look like we're finished we are oh crapsies magapsies look what we got Elite 37 Seth freaking Rollins I love it so much one of my favorite Seth elites I just I you guys have heard me talk about it on the channel 100 million and six times this elite 37 head scan for seth rollins is so beautiful i know it doesn't have lower legs on it but i have so much seth rollins fodder that that will not be any problem whatsoever i can easily do something switch up some parts get some stuff going and i'm so happy to have another elite 37 head scan man i love this so much i love this head love the figure and we can do a cool seth rollins fix up or something or create an attire for the pick fed we'll, we'll figure it out but thank you so much bro what an epic haul here man he, he he hooked us up with the Elite 37 Rollins, the Elite 29 Punk, the Legends Nikolai Volkov, the Elite WrestleMania Undertaker, and the only thing that we traded for, I think we did like a, a few weapons or something for the Network Spotlight robe, and he threw all this extra stuff in. So thank you so much, man. That's so awesome. Thank you to the from the bottom of my heart. Again, if you guys, anybody out there have this, this accessory right here, I desperately need it. And we have Finjamin Balor from eBay, which was a great pickup. Cannot wait to pop this this head scan off do some stuff it's going to be probably the best custom of the year once it's all finished and i will most definitely show it off when the time is right but we will definitely be using a top talents body from the neck down we're just going to be using the head scan we we might possibly use these sleeves knee pads or kick pads but the main reason of the finn balor was the head scan but now that we've gotten all this guys let's go ahead and line everything up and bust a few tricks on the old skateboard oh so now the lighting wants to work look how good the lighting is compared to the rest of the video stupid idiot moron finn balor over here looking like a star wars Wars villain. Seth Rollins over here looking like Lieutenant Dan. But that pretty much does it for today's haul. Guys, I know it was just one package, but we did get a lot of epic stuff here. Huge shout out to Riley, guys. Go subscribe to his channel. Cannot wait to see those pick fed shows and those uh, that round robin tournament from the boy. But thank you guys so very much for watching. We got some epic stuff here today, and I, I appreciate it so much, Riley. You are an absolute boss. And I will definitely check out your pick fed once it's up and uploaded. You know, just send me a DM or send me a link, and I will definitely check it out for you. Give you some tips, whatever the case may be. But thank you guys so very much for watching today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.